Hi guys, welcome to the Complete Golf Guide. I'm down here at Lumina Golf Resort and I've just gone through the summary of the, vid of the golf swing. And this whole series of videos is going to help you from being a brand new golfer or even established golfer, going to help you improve. And we're going to talk about the hold of the golf club. Because the hold of the golf club has an enormous influence on where this club face points. Enormous, the biggest influence. And when that golf club isn't pointing where we want it to point, we have to start making compensations in our golf swing to make the ball travel straight. And this is where a lot of players start to get unstuck. So the hold is unbelievably important. It is the steering wheel of your golf shots. 100% the steering wheel. Now, what I'm gonna show you is how we're gonna hold the golf club and also explain some of the reasons why it can often feel quite funny quite weird. Let's have a look at the, deep, at the grip a little bit more detailed. So when we're looking at the golf club, and this golf club is very simple to line up because the grip of this golf club has got a, a logo here, the logo of the, the manufacturer in line. Now some grips are more blank, completely blanked out. And what you've got to do when it's blanked out is work more off where the club face is. And we want this leading edge of the club face as straight as possible as straight as possible. If it's twisted in slightly to the left or pointing down, as you can see here, we're gonna again make compensations in the swing to make the ball go straighter. Hard, you're making it slightly harder. If the face is more to the right, again, that's gonna make compensations in the swing to make the ball go straighter. So when we start here with the club face, either use the logo on the grip or lead, have that leading edge super, super straight. Once that's been established and you can place the club back on the floor and everything's nice and straight, and this is instruction for right-handed golfers, but left-handed just switch the hand positions accordingly. When I place the club on the place the hand on the golf club now, I want this hand to go on in the most neutral manner as possible. And you can see here, just as I bring my hand to that golf club, my palm is slightly faced inwards, just slightly. So we want to try and replicate that as we actually take hold of the golf club. We wouldn't want to go this way too much because that's unnatural position. And we want to go this way too much because again, that is more of an unnatural position. So as the hand approaches the side of the grip, I want you to look at focusing on holding the golf club in the fingers. Give yourself enough room at the top, but hold, hold the golf club more from the middle of the index finger to the edge of your, of your little finger. Once you've got the fingers on, you can place the hand more on top so that we get that palm of the hand facing inwards, again, like it would do if I was just to bring that hand to the golf club. When I look at this hand position now, and a couple of good checkpoints here, we want to be able to see the two knuckles on the hand, the left hand. So when I'm looking down here, I can see knuckle number one and knuckle number two. And this angle that you create here between the thumb and the index finger that wants to run up towards my right shoulder. So as I look at this, that's running up towards the right shoulder. If you find that you see too much knuckle on my third knuckle, you'll find that V ends up running outside of the shoulder line. So we want that to run on the shoulder line. Now, to warn you, the hold of the golf club is unlike any else, anything else we hold in the world. And it does feel bizarre. It feels weird, it feels different. Certainly if you're used to holding it in a different way, it's going to feel very, very different. Very different. Now if you're an established golfer and you're looking at this video about changing your grip, you've got to determine which one, which your grip is currently. Are you too twisted where you can see too much knuckles or is your hand too far under? If your hand is too far over, you'll generally hit the ball further left because the handle wants to twist this way and the club head will be more closed, be more pointing towards the left. If I go under more, that club face will end up pointing to the right too much. So as an established golfer, you've got to figure out what the way you hold the golf club first and how then that will relate back to changing the grip. So left hand is on, top hand is on. So when we come with the right hand now, we're going to do something similar. When I rest the right hand up against the side of the grip, my palm is slightly faced inwards. And again, we wanna replicate that. We don't wanna to go too far under and we don't wanna to go too far over because that's gonna have an influence again on the club face direction. We wanna go on 
almost sideways. I recommend the middle of the hand here, the right palm, the middle of the hand, almost wants to sit on the side of your thumb. Then the fingers wrap around and then the hand goes on top. And you can see there the palm of the hand is still in that slightly forward position. So the middle section of the right hand, the top hand, sits on the side of the thumb and then the fingers wrap round. The last point in this is what you do at the back. And this gets overly complex for a lot of players. You can either go 10 fingers where we can see all 10 fingers there. You can interlock, you can overlap. I have absolutely no care. Whatever you do with those three, I do not mind. Whatever feels more comfortable. As long as the hands aren't moving, you can interlock, overlap, or 10 finger. I generally interlock, but I know for a lot of players that feels weird, but for me, overlapping feels weird. And again, it goes back to how weird the grip feeling is. The hold of the golf club is honestly the weirdest thing that you will ever do when, you hold, when you're playing golf, because it's so, so sensitive. And this is where a lot of players get um, mis misled from when they first start. If they hold the golf club incorrectly, they will make adaptions to their swing to help hit it straight, and that's harder. It's much, much harder. I'm just gonna put one little disclaimer on this. One disclaimer. If I would only ever change the grip if direction is a fault. So remind, I'd only ever change the grip of a player if direction is a fault. If the, gri if the grip is causing the directional fault, then I would change the hold. That is so key, so, so key. If the grip is something that you have been struggling with for a while, go for more tuition coaching with a golf professional to help you do this. And that, that's my biggest disclaimer on this. That's the bones of the grip and the things that are really important with it. But you can, if the grip is influencing your shot shape, go and see professional help first. Let me hit a shot with that grip. So, hand goes on as natural as possible, fingers around, two knuckles and the V's up the right shoulder. Right hand goes on, position that's more natural as possible with the way that I move my hand to the club. Down the side of the thumb with the palm, fingers around and I just interlock. I just interlock and then we are on for a good one. That club face can stay nice and straight. And I can get that ball traveling straight without needing to influence anything. Guys, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel by clicking the big button here, like the video, and we'll move on to next, and we're gonna go set up how we stand to the golf ball. This is the complete golf guide, and you can take in and out of this as much as you want. It's just a guide. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon.